Bill MacArthur, Expedition 12 Commander. Bill, uh, first of all, welcome home. Half a year in space. Uh, what were your thoughts as you first suited up and then undocked and then backed away to see what was your orbital home for the last six months? Rob, thank you very much. It is nice to be back on, uh, on Mother Earth. The, of course, the entry and landing are such a, an, an important and dynamic uh, phase of the flight that that's really what our thoughts were on, that uh, we were really thinking about, uh, we were focusing on the, that task, the undocking, the deorbit burn, the landing, uh, because they're a pretty intense uh, period of activity for us, and so we really were concentrating on trying to do it correctly and not make mistakes. Uh, at the same time, it was uh, a little something of a bittersweet moment. Um, from inside the vehicle, we couldn't, uh, inside the, the Soyuz, we couldn't actually, I could not physically see the space station, except maybe a very small part of one, one of the solar panels. And so very quickly, I could no longer physically see it, but I could see it on the display. And, you know, it was. It was, it was home for six months. And so there was a little bit of sadness uh, uh, to be leaving that. Of course, we, you know, we, we know that uh, that that our that our our spaceship is in very good hands with uh, Pavel Vinogradov and Jeff Williams. Uh, they're very excited to be there. Uh, gosh, it was really great over the last couple of days to to have fewer and fewer responsibilities on board and watch Jeff just very quickly take over and, and perform all the tasks that I've been doing. Uh, of course, at the same time, uh, Valeri and I both, and, and of course Marcos, were just tremendously excited because we know at the end of this rainbow, the pot of gold is that we're going to see our families again. The uh, the ride home. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's been described in a variety of ways. Uh, you've trained many many years for this particular uh, day. What was it like? Uh, what was what was unique about it for you? Well, let me first say what wasn't unique. Um, what wasn't unique was what we experienced. The events themselves happened in the sequence very, very much the way we had trained, very much the way we had been briefed that they would happen. You know, at the same time, though, I, I, all I can say is the difference was, I think, between reading about a train wreck and being in a train wreck, it was it was quite a ride. I, you know, I, I think uh, I, I think uh, Disney World would be would have quite, quite quite something on their hands if they had an e-ticket ride like this. It was uh, it was exciting. Um, the dynamic events are very much that they are very very dynamic. Uh, the deorbit burn itself went exactly the way we thought it would, except this time we could actually feel the deceleration. Uh, but the, the vehicle performed flawlessly. But then the entry into the atmosphere, things become a little more violent. I, I, that's the only word I can use. There, there's just a lot of motion at times. Uh, we, we pulled almost 4.6 Gs during entry, which uh, it, it is what we had experienced in training. But of course, in training, we hadn't been weightless for six months first. And that 4.6 Gs felt like a lot. Um, and then things like the parachute opening, or when the parachute, uh, it's, it's called, uh, it's called Paracepta, it's, so it, the, the parachute reconfigures itself, it, it goes from coming off of one side of the capsule so that we're, we're sort of on our side spinning around to then the capsule being symmetric underneath. Those were, those were very big shocks, wild gyro.